last. Partnering to fight COVID-19 and strengthening Jamaica's climate change response, just a fraction of what occurred within the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade in 2021. Here's the full recap. Access to COVID-19 vaccines became one of the Ministry's major priorities in 2021. We are proud that our efforts to support Jamaica's COVID-19 response assisted in securing a reliable supply of various vaccines so they could be made available to Jamaicans from Negril to Marant Point. Several bilateral partners also gifted us not only with vaccines, but with PPE and other medical resources. We're also proud that the government of Jamaica was able to donate medical supplies to our brothers and sisters in Cuba to support their COVID-19 response. Persons in the diaspora were engaged to support the Ministry of Education's One Laptop or Tablet Per Child initiative. Several devices were received in 2021. At times such as these, when all countries are facing similar challenges and all children are challenged, these donations are even more appreciated. The ministry also harnessed its diplomatic powers to get Jamaicans home, who had been stranded across parts of the world due to COVID-19 travel restrictions. The return was made possible through controlled re-entry exemptions granted by the Ministry of National Security under the DRMA and, of course, uh, subject to public health conditions. New ambassadors were appointed to Mexico and Belgium, along with the first resident High Commissioner to India. Bilateral talks were held with His Excellency Toshimitsu Motegi, representing the first visit from a Japanese foreign minister to Jamaica. Minister Motegi and I had very productive discussions on several aspects of our bilateral partnership, including our technical cooperation program, which supports national development in energy efficiency, environmental protection, disaster risk reduction, maritime security, training and scholarships, tourism promotion, and cooperation in defense, as well as, of course, sports. Ministerial consultations were also held between Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago on outstanding trade issues. In 2021, Jamaica's economic diplomacy program also took on added impetus, as we appointed a special envoy to promote trade and investment with four African countries, as well as new honorary investment advisors in Tokyo, Toronto, and Florida. All this to complement our traditional diplomatic services as we continue on the trajectory to deepen and widen trade. With regard to our multilateral relations, Jamaica assumed leadership roles on several fronts, making vital sustainable development decisions critical to our country, the region, and the global community. Minister Kamina Johnson-Smith led negotiations to finalize ministerial decision on the World Trade Organization's response to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. Prior to this, in September, Jamaica reinforced issues of importance, such as equitable access to vaccines, financing for development for post-COVID recovery, and climate change. Jamaica also had a presence at the World Leaders Summit and the 26th United Nations Climate Change Conference of the Parties, COP26. As co-chair of the UN Secretary General's Financing for Development initiative, Jamaica led efforts to maintain global focus on the importance of financing for development as a response to the COVID-19 pandemic and beyond. Jamaica was the only country in the Caribbean region to make a submission to the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, UNODC, for the elaboration of a cybercrime convention. The government strengthened and expanded its global network of honorary consuls in 2021 to support the country's growth agenda. As a result, the Foreign Affairs Ministry opened four new consulates in Ghana, Malawi, Uganda and Croatia. Further to that, it appointed new honorary consuls in existing locations. A major development providing direct benefit to Jamaican citizens this year was the introduction of apostilles to our authentication services. This has already helped thousands of Jamaicans seeking to legalize documents needed for both personal and business-related international transactions. Meanwhile, consultations were concluded between Jamaica and the USA to address reports of abuses and irregularities in respect of the handling of Jamaican nationals under the Shiprider Agreement. Furthermore, work to improve systems that give effect to the agreement will not stop here. Indeed, the agreement itself provides for consultation to ensure its smooth operationalization, 
and the new protocols provide for a minimum regularity of exchanges with scope for additional consultations as necessary. Biennial Jamaica Diaspora Conference, which was to be held virtually in June, was postponed to 2022. However, the diaspora was still engaged through a two-day virtual sustainability symposium and a prime ministerial town hall. It attracted over 1,000 participants from 40 countries. Six diaspora members received the Governor General's Award for Excellence under the theme Heroes of the Pandemic. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade in 2021 executing a range of policies and activities, all these to further develop and maintain Jamaica's trade and foreign relations.